Every continent in the world has its iconic cities. Europe has the likes of London and Paris, Asia with Tokyo and Seoul or North America with Montreal and New York, and Africa is no different with the likes of Abuja and Cape Town, which are the subject of our video today. Abuja is Nigeria's purpose-built capital, while Cape Town is South Africa's iconic legislative capital. These cities, brimming with life and history, entice explorers and enthusiasts alike to delve into their individual stories and experiences. Join us, Anna, as we compare both Abuja and Cape Town, uncovering the unique allure that each city possesses. Prepare to discover the beating hearts of these vibrant African capitals, from Abuja's modern skylines to Cape Town's breathtaking landscapes. We'd appreciate it if you left a big like on this video and also a sub so you don't miss out on our future videos. Firstly, we're going to talk about their infrastructure and road network. Abuja, Nigeria's capital and strategically located in the heart of the country, emerges as a focal point of governance. Abuja's centralized government hub, which houses key institutions such as the Presidential Palace, National Assembly, and Supreme Court, encourages efficiency and collaboration. Beyond governance, the city's carefully planned infrastructure includes cultural and recreational landmarks such as the National Arboretum, National Christian Center, National Mosque, and the expansive Millennium Park. These landmarks, strategically located within the three alert zones, highlight Abuja's importance as Nigeria's administrative hub. Abuja, home to the nation's largest park, exemplifies meticulous city planning reflecting Nigeria's commitment to a capital that improves both governance and citizens' quality of life. In addition to governmental and cultural landmarks, Abuja offers housing, retail, and other amenities to meet the diverse needs of its residents. The National Stadium, a prominent motorsports facility, adds to the city's allure by emphasizing its multifaceted nature. Connectivity is prioritized, as evidenced by Abuja's International Airport, which serves as an important link between the federal capital and other cities. The city's power supply, derived from sources such as the Shiroro Dam, demonstrates the strategic planning that underpins its infrastructure. While Abuja's road network meets international standards, more attention is needed to reduce traffic congestion and improve safety. Recognizing areas for improvement, Abuja's road network, while commendable, recognizes the need to compete with other Nigerian cities in terms of road quality and traffic management. Contrastingly, Cape Town stands out for its comprehensive and well-developed infrastructure, which positions it as a model city dedicated to continuous improvement. The city invests millions of dollars each year in new infrastructure and innovative transportation solutions, helping to cement its reputation as one of Africa's most vibrant and progressive urban centers. This dedication is reflected in the wide range of public and private constructions, such as schools, hotels, parks, sports complexes, parliamentary buildings, and residential areas, which all contribute to Cape Town's dynamic landscape. Cape Town's road network demonstrates efficient urban planning, with one of the best systems in the country. With minimal traffic congestion and well-maintained sections, the city's road infrastructure meets a wide range of transportation needs. Cape Town's commitment to infrastructure excellence serves not only functional purposes, but also improves residents' overall quality of life. When comparing Abuja's road networks and infrastructure to Cape Town's, the latter's comprehensive and well-maintained systems reinforce its reputation as a city that sets a high standard for urban development. 2. Geography, Abuja, Nigeria's eighth most populous city is strategically located in the federal capital territory, allowing for better governance. Abuja was meticulously planned to replace Lagos as the country's capital in the 1980s. It is located slightly west of the country's geographical center and covers an area of 7,315 square kilometers. The Zuma and Asa rocks are iconic rock formations that define the city's character. The Zuma Rock, serving as Abuja's gateway, marks the start of the federal territory, while the massive Azo Rock, towering 400 meters above sea level, stands at the head of Abuja city and extends southward. 
Cape Town, a vibrant city in South Africa, is one of the country's three capitals, serving as the legislative capital, the seat of national parliaments, and the provincial capital of the Western Cape. Cape Town, South Africa's second most populous city, has a picturesque harbor and well-known landmarks such as Table Mountain and Strategic Park, making it the country's top tourist destination. Cape Town, located about 50 kilometers north of the Cape of Good Hope, graces the northern tip of the Cape Peninsula. Dominated by the majestic Devil Mountain, which stands at a soaring height of 3,300 feet, the cityscape is surrounded by nearly vertical cliffs, adding a mesmerizing and imposing element to its geography. Devil Mountain's dramatic presence serves as a captivating backdrop to the city, creating a picturesque scene that captivates onlookers. The mountainous terrain extends southward into the Atlantic Ocean, meeting at several key points and contributing to the city's distinct and varied topography. The Cape Peninsula contains over 70 peaks that rise above 1,000 feet, lending natural grandeur to Cape Town's official city. The cityscape is a seamless blend of breathtaking landscapes, ranging from towering peaks to the vast Cape Flats that connect the peninsula to the mainland. This collection of geographical wonders, combined with the breathtaking views and diverse topography, establishes Cape Town as a city of unparalleled natural beauty. Three, economy. While Abuja and Cape Town both claim to be economic powerhouses, they serve very different markets. Abuja, the planned capital, pulses with the beat of government and its associated industries. Its gleaming towers house ministries, embassies, and international organizations, propelling the city's status as a bureaucratic and political hub. Oil and gas revenues boost its economy, with multinational energy companies establishing operations in its modern confines. Critics, however, point to the city's over-reliance on government spending and resource extraction, casting doubt on its long-term economic viability. Cape Town nestled against the majestic Table Mountain, thrives with a more diverse engine. Despite challenges such as water scarcity and income inequality, Cape Town's diverse economy and entrepreneurial spirit provide a more resilient approach to growth. Four, when it comes to the cost of living, job opportunities, and income levels, Abuja and Cape Town provide stark contrasts. Abuja, the planned capital, has modern infrastructure and amenities, but these come at a cost. Housing, food, and transportation costs can be significantly higher than in Cape Town, particularly for imported goods. While government jobs pay well, competition is fierce, and opportunities in the private sector are often limited. Cape Town's diverse economy creates a more varied cost-of-living landscape. While some tourist attractions can be expensive, overall costs are lower than in Abuja. However, income levels follow suit, with average salaries generally lower than those in the Nigerian capital. Job opportunities abound, particularly in the tourism, technology, and creative industries, but obtaining well-paying jobs frequently necessitates specialized skills. 5. Healthcare Abuja has the advantage of state-funded hospitals and clinics catering to government officials and diplomats, which provide relatively high standards of care. However, access to quality health care is becoming less consistent for the general public, particularly in non-central areas. Cape Town has a more established health care system, with a mix of public and private facilities that generally provide greater accessibility and specialized treatment options. However, affordability remains an issue, especially for marginalized communities. Overall, both cities face challenges in closing health care gaps and providing equitable access to quality care. 6. Education Abuja benefits from the government's investment in flagship public schools with modern facilities and experienced teachers. Private schools with international curricula thrive, catering to expats and wealthy Nigerians. Access to quality education becomes more limited outside of the city center, and rural areas frequently struggle with insufficient resources. 
Cape Town, with its more established educational infrastructure, offers a diverse landscape. The quality of public schools varies, whereas private schools provide a diverse range of international and bilingual programs. Both cities' higher education systems include prestigious universities and specialized institutions that attract both domestic and international students. However, both face challenges in increasing accessibility and quality education for all. Seven, safety. Despite its modern design, Abuja faces security concerns, particularly in areas of poverty and informal settlements. Residents must remain vigilant against petty theft and the occasional violent crime. Cape Town, while generally safer than Abuja, suffers from gang violence and high crime rates in certain areas. The city has invested in police patrols and community initiatives, but inequality and socioeconomic factors remain significant challenges. Finally, both cities must maintain ongoing efforts to combat crime, promote social cohesion, and ensure citizen safety across neighborhoods. Eight, tourism, Cape Town attracts tourists with its enticing combination of pleasant temperatures, breathtaking natural surroundings, and well-developed infrastructure. The city has a plethora of attractions, including Civil Mountain, a captivating headland at the tip of the Quay Peninsula, the iconic Chapman's Peak Drive, and the renowned beaches, all of which add to Cape Town's allure. Its vibrant cultural scene and diverse experiences make it an ideal destination for those looking for a diverse and enriching travel experience. In addition to its scenic beauty, Cape Town's tourism industry contributes significantly to the region's economy. Tourism, which accounts for 9.8% of the province's GDP and employs 9.6% of the workforce, is an important contributor to the city's prosperity. On the other hand, Abuja, Manchuria's capital, thrives as a center for governmental and diplomatic activities. Abuja, which houses the headquarters of various government departments and embassies from around the world, is culturally rich and diverse. The Asa Rock, a prominent feature in Abuja, is just one of many attractions that contribute to the city's distinct charm, creating an environment in which culture, experiences, and local markets coexist to provide residents and visitors with a taste of authentic Nigerian life. While while Abuja is not as well known in the tourism industry as Cape Town, it does have its share of impressive attractions such as Soma Rock, Abuja National Mosque, Jabi Lake, Ankara National Park, and the Aso Rock Presidential Villa. These sites add to the city's cultural and recreational offerings by highlighting a different side of Manchuria's capital. However, when compared to Cape Town, Abuja appears to have room for improvement in terms of increasing its appeal and diversifying its tourist attractions to compete on a global scale. Abuja faces infrastructure and road network challenges, falling behind Cape Town's well-developed systems. The cost of living in Abuja is 5% lower than in Cape Town, indicating a difference in economic dynamics between the cities. Despite their relative positions on the list of the world's most expensive cities, Abuja and Cape Town have distinct characteristics, with Abuja highlighting its cultural richness and Cape Town standing out for its robust tourism industry and superior infrastructure. While Abuja is ranked third in Nigeria and Cape Town is ranked fifth in South Africa, their positions as the third best city in Nigeria and the top city in South Africa reflect different perspectives. The after-tax salaries, which cover living expenses for an average of 0.2 months in Abuja versus 1.5 months in Cape Town, indicate differences in the economic dynamics and cost of living between the two cities. Interestingly, both cities are ranked approximately 1,922nd and 1,155th among the world's best cities to live in, highlighting their distinct characteristics and challenges. The comparison of Cape Town and Abuja paints a complex picture, with Cape Town emerging as the clear winner in terms of overall appearance and beauty. However, the decision on the cost of living is inconclusive, emphasizing the importance of personal income and preferences in determining which city is a better fit for individuals. Each city has its own distinct charm and offerings, catering to a wide range of needs and preferences, 
making the decision between Cape Town and Abuja purely subjective and dependent on personal circumstances. Leave us a big like on this video if you found it interesting. Let us know what you think in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe and share with a friend. See you in our next video. Greetings to the imagination.